What's up guys, today we're going to be talking about the ridiculousness of the Nintendo YouTube network and why it's terrible and you should stay away from it at all costs, everyone, all levels of YouTubers. Even if you're just starting out and have five subscribers, do not enter the Nintendo YouTube network ever. This, this is so unbelievable. There's so many things about this uh, Nintendo YouTube network that are ridiculous that I, I, I don't even know where to start. First of all, number one, it shouldn't even exist. No other game company uh, requires you to partner up with them to monetize your videos. That's ridiculous. No other, Microsoft isn't like, yeah, we're going to need 40% of your money to monetize this Halo 4 video. No, that's just not a thing. Occasionally... Uh, video games do have some content ID, like Grand Theft Auto, if there's like some sort of Snoop Dogg song, you'll get a uh, content ID right there, but that's not, that's just because uh, they decided to use Snoop Dogg, they, they leased a song for a video game, and that's why that's happening, uh, but typically, almost all, actually, I'm going to say always, because I don't know of any other company that's doing this, uh, if it's a game soundtrack made by the company, Generally, that's not going to trigger a content ID. Sometimes it does, but rarely. So, first of all, the most ridiculous thing about this is it shouldn't even exist. But let's get into the even more ridiculous things. So, to be a part of the Nintendo YouTube network, all of your videos have to exclusively be Nintendo content. Now, this doesn't mean that only the Nintendo content gets monetized. No, this means that even if you have a vlog that you just want to put up, but you don't really care if it gets monetized, whatever, can't have it. Everything on your channel needs to be Nintendo exclusive. So, yeah, you want to do a video about, I don't know, Halo 4 or Halo 5? Nope, can't do it. Want to make a vlog about your new puppy? Nope, can't do it. Nintendo owns you. And they are taking 40% of your money. Which, again, fucking ridiculous. Now, if you could bear those two things, which... Whatever. Let's say you could. Uh, all of your videos have to be approved, so... You're not going to make money off of your videos during the prime time because uh, every, everybody that makes YouTube videos knows that the first day or two of the video being out is where it's going to get a lot of its views. For the most part, some videos, it's not quite like that, but a lot of the times it's like that. And uh, Nintendo, notoriously, already is taking a very long time to approve the videos because they manually approve them. So, that's shitty. Not only are you not getting paid as much as you should be, you're, not just, you're just not getting paid a lot of the time. And uh, that sucks. And also, since they're manually approved, you can't curse in the videos. You can't, uh, uh, if you're negative about Nintendo, if the video is just negative, they, they just, they want like positive, happy, PewDiePie videos or whatever. And uh, if your video doesn't meet their criteria, or they just say, fuck this guy, uh, they can just decline your video and say, fuck you. You're not making any money. So, I don't know. Nintendo is being just fucking ridiculous about this whole thing. I've been saying this for a long time, but I have a lot of people have been saying this. this is not something I've been exclusively saying, but for the for the longest time, I, I thought Nintendo has just been out of touch with the world. I'm not even going to say the Western world at this point because I think people in Asia are even like, "What the fuck are you doing, Nintendo?" Um, this I, I I don't know. No other game company is so against people making videos about their games. Uh, in fact. EA and uh, Microsoft and, and all these other game companies are, are like the polar opposite. They're they're paying YouTubers top dollar to pay their to play their games, man. They're they're folk, they're fucking throwing hands over fists of money at these big fucking YouTubers saying play our new fucking Battlefield DLC and whatever. It's 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 insane how how Nintendo's so out of the loop, man. It's uh, other game companies are literally paying people to play their. I mean, I've got offers in my email right now. Again, not the games that I want to play, but uh, from game companies to play their fucking crazy iOS game or whatever. And you know, Nintendo, that they're they're. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea what's going on, but it's it's bad. So if anybody watches this video and searches up like, should I partner with the Nintendo Network? Don't. Don't do it ever. I don't care if you have one subscriber. Literally partner with anyone else. Anyone else. Even these shitty ass spam emails you get to join some rando network. It's probably still going to be better than the Nintendo network. Uh, believe it or not. So I've never seen a... Uh, I've seen my fair share of shitty YouTube deals. I've gotten a lot of them uh, that I turned down. But this is... <laughs> 
This is horrible. This is <laughs> so bad. Oh my god. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to hit the uh, Drew with the Cyclone here. That, that was the only lapse in our CC chain for the most part. Up to 22 seconds. Out of that Cyclone, my Pally is going to hit him with a half Hodge. That puts him up to 25. Out of that Hodge, my Hunter is going to hit him with a half Trap. And that puts him up to 29. And the Warrior is going to 